Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2014 Subaru Forester Touring. Now the most notable features on the Touring is its power moonroof, as well as its heated front seats and its backup camera. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2014 Subaru Forester. Let's get started. To start, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the Forester. One of them being is your auto daytime running lights as well as your fog lamps. And taking a look over on the side here, you're going to see your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Over on your mirrors, you have your integrated signal lamps. And taking a look at the very top, you also have your roof rack. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is gray. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats. Just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look on your left hand side, you're going to see your traction control on and off as well as your power lift gate opener. On the inside of your driver's side door you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you'll see here on your steering wheel are your volume control, scroll function, you also have your mode select, voice recognition, Bluetooth, and then you have your scroll or your cruise control settings just located on the right hand side with your paddle shifters on both sides. Now I'm just going to close in on the exact kilometers just so you have a much better idea of what it's currently sitting at. One of the nice things with this is that you can actually see your um, fuel indicator as well when you're running on empty. Now taking a look you're going to see your center dash as well as your touch panel display. You're going to see, or sorry, your AM FM CD player. Up at the very top here you're going to see your exterior temperature gauge as well as your digital clock and then you also have your temperature control settings for your dual zone climate control. Now you have your hazard lights as well as your AM FM CD player with satellite radio. Taking a look at the bottom here you have your temperature control settings for your dual zone climate control and then just underneath here you have your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger as well as your X mode. Matted to an automatic transmission. Taking a look at the very top, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with your digital compass. And at the very top, you'll find your open and close for your power moonroof as well as your sunglass case holder. But in the event that you do forget your sunglasses, you do have these visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now, located on the back of your tailgate, you're going to find your backup camera just located on your left hand side. Rear hatch release will be located just underneath your uh, Subaru emblem here. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now one of the nice things I like with this Subaru is it does come with a tonneau cover so in the event that you're going from store to store and you're worried about people possibly seeing what you have in your back uh, cargo space here, the nice thing with the tonneau cover is it's actually going to cover up everything just while you're going from store to store just so people can't see what you have back there. The other nice thing with this Subaru is it does come with the cargo liner as well. So in the event that you do need um, to haul away some of your bottles or you're taking um, something that's possibly going to leak out of the bag itself. The nice thing with this cargo liner is that it, instead of it leaking onto the carpet, which is underneath, it's just going to go onto the plastic, which makes it much easier to clean. Now, located just underneath, you're going to find a little bit of the under, under the floor storage, just so you can hide away some of your valuables. And if we just take a look again, Underneath you'll find your spare tire as well as your jack and your toolkit. So in the event that you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. The other great thing with this power, or this Subaru, sorry, that I really like is that it has the power lift gate opener. So once you're all finished in the back, all you have to do is push on the button once and it will close for you automatically. The one thing I like with the Forester is it has a lot of room for your everyday needs, just if you're going out camping or if you're just going out on a family trip. You have plenty of room for your kids as well as your cargo. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2014 Subaru Forester, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.